It's TLB Top List Thursday time. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. Okay. TLB Top List Thursday time it is. It's a bit uh, late in the day, but I, I have been away with my family. Just yeah. came home, so... Now it's time. Now it's time. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the top five... I guess bomb cards we want to open at the pre-release. Yeah, this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, this weekend. So yeah, so there will basically be all rares and mythics. Yeah, I guess we have talked about the commons and uncommons, but now we're going to the, I guess the bomb rares or mythics, yeah, the fun can, stuff. Yeah, that we think will be good to open in uh, the sealed decks. Yeah, so on Saturday. Yep. So number five, we have one of the Emerge cards. Uh, there are a lot of Emerge, and uh, a lot of them are very good, it seems. Yeah, and, uh, here we have the this the, the black one, the, the rare, the distended mind bender. Yes, so this is a Eldrazi insect for eight mana. But if you emerge it, you I mean, can it, it's pay. a five five for eight mana yeah. if you don't emerge it. Yeah. But you want to emerge it. You don't have to, but but it's a lot better if you if you do. And if you can do it profitly. And, yeah, because if if you can t- play this on like turn four. Four. Uh, then your opponent, uh, you uh, you choose two cards, one that costs three or less, and one that costs four or more. Yeah, so you could miss, but hopefully you get two of them, uh, their cards from their hand. Yeah, so <laughs> sure. and it's a five-five on turn four. Yeah, that's good. So, so, so as we said, you can miss, and you are sacrificing something for this to happen. Um, but there are cards that. Are good to sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. Because for for example, you can play blue green. You can play a three drop that says when it dies, draw a card. For example, and on turn four, you play something like this and just uh, get value back and get the big. Yeah, if, if, if you get the value from the the other card that you're sacrificing, then this is a three for one. Ah, yeah. You, you're down the other card, but yeah, then this can be a three for one. Yeah, yeah. So moving on to number four, then we have Ishkana Graph Widow. Yeah. So four and a green for a three-five reach spider. Um, delirium. Delirium. When it enters the battlefield, if you have delirium, you also get three one two uh, spider tokens. So that's six worth of power, eleven worth worth of. Uh, toughness, toughness and that, uh, everything is reach. Yeah, everything is reach. And if you can't be down, you can also activate it for six and a black to drain. Yeah, and four each turn. If, <laughs> yeah, if they haven't killed any of your spiders yet, then you drain for four. And green will still be part of delirium. I mean, the, the archetypes are basically the same as it. Yeah, they pretty were, much, pretty uh, much the same. Before, uh, obviously, there could be stuff we don't know, but it, it looks like it should be about the same. And yeah, getting this out for five mana. Uh, I mean, 6, 11 reach spread over 4 bodies that can drain. Seems like a limited bomb yeah, to If me. you don't kill this and uh, and your opponent just starts draining you, <laughs> they should not have good attacks either. No, no. Uh, so, so, I think this will be good. Yeah. Number Thank 3, you. we have a Planeswalker. Bant is back. I mean, Tamiyo Field Researcher is 1 green, white, blue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it uh, comes in with 4 loyalty. Uh, can plus to and choose up to two creatures and until your next turn whenever those deal damage you draw a card yeah. so you could do it on your own and if you're attacking and draw cards or maybe on the opponent so they are a bit afraid of yeah uh, because if, you. if they attack they want to kill Tamu of course then yeah. you get to draw cards yeah you can get at least one or two cards back and she can minus to protect I guess herself and tap down to non-land permanents so it doesn't even have to be creatures and they don't untap and then she can minus, I guess, for seven. seven. And then you just draw three cards. Win the and game. The, the <laughs> emblem makes what well, you you may cast non land cards from your hand without paying their mana cost. Yeah, so I guess so that's, that's om- omniscience. Yeah, that's uh, I don't know how good it will be, but the the planeswalker looks very powerful, and I guess you could be two of the colors splashing the third or something. Yeah, we were talking about green white was a delirium combo before. 
Yeah. Then and in that combo you splashed either you splashed black or you splashed blue. And still now you can also because blue has both self mill and they have some delirium card draw. So you could splash blue in a deck like yeah. that and yeah. just put the Tamiyo in. Or you could be maybe white blue flying tempo, splash green and use this as card draw and tempo. Yeah, it's still very good so. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, just splash it if you're in the colors. The, the, the downside with, with it is of course the casting cost. Maybe you end up in a spot where you don't have good mana. Yeah, you have to look out for that, of course. Uh, so that's, I guess, the only drawback. And uh, moving on to number two. Yeah. Uh, we have the Elder Deep Fiend. Another emerge. So that's eight mana for a five, six. Flash. Uh, but it has flash which is very good and for five blue blue you can emerge it and when it and, and when you cast it you tap up to four target permanents yeah so you can you can um, play this just to get all the blockers out of the way say for example you play the o2 that puts in a three two on turn four you go two drop three drop four drop into that o2 guy yeah you have up mana your opponent maybe has two or three creatures out also and then you end step, step flash this in sack the O2 that doesn't do anything at all and yeah. you can attack for maybe 5, 6, 7, 8 maybe 12, 12, 13 yeah probably uh, and even I mean drawing it late it can just be get rid of a board stall and win the game and you can use it to tap your opponent's lands for one turn yeah so just uh, time walk them if they yeah for some reason yeah but I guess this will Often be emerge, cast, win the game. So that's why Basically. we have it on number two. It, it will be one of the best emerge cards yeah. for sure. I think so too. And at number one, we, I mean, we put Gisela the Broken Blade. blade. Uh, I mean, four mana, four three, flying first strike, life pink. Yeah. So the, the just the, the base of it there is just amazing. And if you for some weird. Reason could also have a Bruna and <laughs> yeah, white. That. I mean, of course, you could maybe get the Brisela, but we're it's number one just off the Gisela. I want to hear about when when people get Brisela <laughs> on the pre release now, yeah, on Saturday. I, 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 there, 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 there's not a, a high chance of that happening, uh, but you have to open it will happen and for someone and the rare. Uh, yeah, it will happen for someone together. You have to play both of those cards and not. Win, <laughs> even though you have played those two, and then I guess win when yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they uh, meld. But four mana, four three, first strike, flying, life link. That's just very very good. Yeah, we have some honorable mentions also cards that you can look up for out for that are bombs that you should play. Uh, I guess we have Liliana, the Last Hope. It's cheap. Uh, it can kill a lot of stuff in the format. Yeah, there are stuff uh, that dies. And, uh, I mean, later it can also maybe find your creatures. And if you play Delirium, she can draw something good from the graveyard. And if you get to emblem her, you should win. <laughs> yeah, you, you win if you emblem. But it's also... It, it, it also draws draws you cro- cro- uh, creatures in the late game, so yeah. you don't have to emblem. And hopefully she can kill off small small creatures, maybe some tokens, fly, I mean, two, one one flyers or anything. Yeah. Uh, so she will probably be good. I mean, she can probably be even better in constructed in the right deck. I think so too. But uh, she will not be bad. No. We and also then, have more emerge. Yeah, the de- decimator of the pr- uh, provinces. No, no provi- provinces. Provinces. <laughs> decimator of the provinces. Provinces. Yeah. Uh, so that's a ten mana for a seven seven. Eldrazi boar. Trample haste. Uh, trample haste. Uh, but you can emerge it, and th- this is why it's not on the top five list. It's six green 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 so you have to pay pay triple green for it and if you are heavy green or you're green blue but main green maybe that's not an issue that's like playing uh, uh, if you merge uh, it with a four drop it's actually exactly like casting the card overrun yeah and you could cast the card overrun yeah in uh, in the heavy, in the in the normal just double uh, double colored green decks, I don't think this would be a big problem to cast it. it but no, maybe but early, it can still be an issue. But yeah. maybe you just get a board stall. Uh, you have the mana. 
you sack the worst thing and you get a 9-9 trample haste and you pump everyone oh, it's, else. It's actually when you cast it, so it's... Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's but still a 7-7. Seven, seven. No, you cast it uh, for the merge cost also. Yeah, but it's not on the battlefield when the trigger happens. So it's a... S- so it's it's not on the battlefield when it triggers. Okay, now I now I know what you mean. I mean when you cast this itself is not on the battlefield. No. So the trigger affects everything else and himself will be a 7/7. Seven, seven. Yeah. But it's still Probably. a 7/7. Seven, seven. Yeah, it's still. And everything else gets plus 2 plus 2 in trample and I <laughs> just the trample in there is just But we yeah, we have it as a mention just because of the the, the triple green could be a problem. Yeah. Uh, but it still looks like it's very powerful. And another card that will be a limited bomb is Ulrich of the Kralen Horde. It's a 4 4 4 5, but it pumps something when it comes into the battlefield. Plus 4 plus 4. And so uh, that either that get, gets in for a lot of damage or it kills something. Yeah, and, and stays alive. Yeah. And if this flips like any uh, old werewolf, it kills something. And if it uh, flips back again, something else gets very big. Yeah. So it will be very good, but we just don't know how good uh, no, the, the werewolf no, deck yeah, will be now. Exactly. It looks like it will. It should be weaker, but this is still a good card. You will see a lot less uh, of the old werewolves yeah. on the, the pre-release because there are no new ones in the in Elders Moon. There, there All are, of them are are. Um, it's not the flip you're used to. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you mean like that. No, it's just this one. So, I don't know how good this deck will be, but... Uh. I think uh, probably Werewolf will be a bit worse, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I guess those were some of the bombs we would like to open. And there are obviously more rares and myths that are good, but we just picked out those that we yeah, thought were <laughs> more, most powerful on the surface. Yeah, just looking at all the Emerge c- cards... Most of them are good. Yeah, there are good common <laughs> ones, there are good uncommon ones, yeah. and obviously good rare ones. And there are more gold cards that are really good in the format also. Yep, so. yep. Yeah, but we'll, I guess we're just looking forward to Saturday now. Yeah, this will be a fun pre-release. Uh, yeah. hope Sh- Shadows of the was very fun. Yeah, so, so hopefully we, this will We hope too. this is as fun. Yeah, and we're obviously looking forward even more to starting drafting this, but sealed is still fine. Yep. Okay, so good uh, luck. Yeah, good luck on the pre-release. And, and see you uh, later for drafts. Yeah. Bye.